Let me tell you a story about our buddy, Texas Congressman and former Judge Louis Gohmert, who once argued on the House floor that uh, gay rights is wrong. And so is same sex marriage, because if there was a gay island, everybody would die off. Impeccable logic. I know he's now upping his game. He put together a sort of apocalyptic scenario to really put in perspective that uh, members of the LGBT community are not worthy of respect. And he talked about whether we would have them in a space colony. Would we have gay people in a space colony if we had to do a sort of Noah's Ark selection of people for it? I know it doesn't really make much sense. I'll play it for you. Warning, I don't know that it'll make more sense after hearing from Louis Gohmert himself. Check it out. I mean, I, I really wonder how many people in this body who had the ultimate power to decide whether humanity would go forward or not, whether it was an asteroid coming, something that would end humanity on Earth as dinosaurs were, were ended at one time. Okay, we've got a spaceship mm. that can go, as Matt Damon did in the movie, plant a colony somewhere. We can have humans survive this terrible disaster about to befall. If you could decide <laughs> what 40 people you put on the spacecraft that would save humanity, right? how many of those would be same-sex couples? Mm. You're wanting to save humankind for posterity. Basically, a modern-day Noah. You have that ability to be a modern-day Noah. Sure. You can preserve life. How many same sex couples would you take from the animal kingdom <laughs> and from humans to put on the spacecraft to perpetuate humanity and the wildlife kingdom? Right. That's why it's been called part of the natural law, <laughs> natural law given by the creator. This is the Congress of the United States. And there's a conversation about how many gay couples or people you would put on a mission to the stars to avoid an asteroid apocalypse. It's beyond sad that this lunatic is an elected official in a country with the most powerful military on the planet. The real question is how many religious nuts would you put on that mission to the stars to save humanity? And the answer is zero, because they would only be an impediment to making the decisions that would preserve humanity's existence. Correct. Yeah. Now, I know what Louis is saying here, yeah. and I'm embarrassed that I share a name with this guy, which is that they can that two gay people cannot reproduce. But um, we do have ways of ensuring that a woman who might be gay has a baby. Right. Yes, we can do that. Right. I mean, in other words, a gay man can still fertilize an egg and a lesbian woman can still birth a child no matter what her sexual preferences are. This is crazy. OK, I, I mean, the, the oh, real. Also, hold on. let me just add one thing. Um, these couples, these straight couples that go into space. Yeah. He makes it sound as if they won't have gay children. ever. <laughs> right. Yeah. The, because, by the way, gay kids are being born to straight couples all the time. Here's the new mantra for people like Louis Gohmert and his space colonies, for the people pushing the trans bathroom laws. This is how I boil it down. Let's come up with offensive and discriminatory solutions to problems we do not have. That, I think, is the most succinct way of sort of uh, summarizing what it is we're seeing here. We have the Zika virus. We have colistin resistant E. coli, as I told you earlier in the show. And Louis Gohmert is talking about gay people on space colonies, uh, colonies. And there's a real lesson here, which is don't huff glue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's let the companies and, and organizations that are sending the craft to Mars decide who to put on it. And let's not let Louis Gohmert get involved in that. There is actually the, the issue of sexuality in future human space colonies has actually been written about quite a bit. And it's discussed in the context of population control when you have physically limited space like you might in a space colony or future space faring uh, a population. I believe that in the forever war by Joe Haldeman, we actually interviewed him. He's one of my favorite sci fi writers, and we it was great mm -hmm. to interview him. Uh, the idea is in a future society where you have very limited space, 
What if you were to basically make everybody gay, imagining that you could with a pill or an injection, right? Just hypothetically, this is speculative fiction. Uh, everybody stores, you store eggs and sperm and then you make everybody gay, right? So you don't have to worry about birth control. You don't have to worry about accidental kids being born or whatever. And then it becomes one in one out. When someone dies, then you fertilize an egg with the saved sperm and you sort of grow a kid in an embryo. Very speculative fiction. I totally get it. But the idea of homosexuality as a solution to population uh, uh, control issues has actually been written about extensively. So obviously Gomert is completely off his rocker. This is a waste of time in the House of Representatives. But interestingly enough, if you want to open up this door to talking about the, you know, the preservation of the species, if we have to leave Earth, uh, most of the most of the uh, speculation is on the opposite side of what Louis Gomert is saying. That is true. And I'll add one more thing about his little speech. Yeah. He actually acknowledges the dinosaurs lived a long time ago and were wiped out. <laughs> Silver lining. <laughs> yeah. Uh, OK. Yeah. Always good to find something positive in these rants. Uh, make sure to give us a like on Facebook, Facebook dot com slash David Pakman show. We will take a break and then we are going to talk about something we haven't often discussed on this show. The afterlife. Gamefly is sort of like Netflix for video games. They have over 8,000 new and classic games for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, Wii, and a bunch of other platforms. And you can play as many games as you want for one monthly fee. And if you find some games you want to keep, you can buy them for a low used price. There's never any due dates or late fees. And our audience can get a free 30 day trial at GameFlyOffer.com slash TDPS. The games are shipped directly to you with return envelopes included. There's no contracts and you can rent games through the mobile app. Get the free 30 day trial for the David Pakman show audience and support our show by going to GameFlyOffer.com slash TDPS.